Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Create a Fold, and I'm going to do a peekaboo card, and using the Jar of Flowers um, bundle. Uh, this is a stamp set and punch bundle. It is my exclusive PDF tutorial uh, for the month of July. You can head over to my blog stampingwithlinda.com and learn how you can receive a PDF tutorial with a grouping of cards done with this bundle. The card I'm doing today is not part of that bundle. So it is a monochromatic card. I'm using the Misty Moonlight, my new favorite in color. And I have used that jar of flowers a stamp set and I stamped the flowers there is a punch for the jar but not a thing for the flowers so I fussy cut them I stamped it on whisper white with that midnight or misty moonlight I also used the in color enamel dots um, for the center of the flowers but I used my new uh, water painters uh, from Stampin' Up and these are kind of a cool thing. We've had aqua painters before. These are um, three different um, tips and one is the fine tip that I used. Um, one thing I'm going to share is that they are left-handed thread. So if you're like me, uh, growing up in a hardware store, uh, righty tighty lefty loosey, this is just the opposite. So if you want to loosen the pens, you need to turn from the right to fill them with water. So there is one tip. And then we have a bigger tip. But the one that I really love and have not had a chance to play with is this palette type um, brush end. And so I will be doing that. This is going to be so fun doing a watercolor wash um, with your projects. But again, I just used that smaller tip um, to watercolor out my flowers. I have taken the jar and have used, um, again, that midnight Misty Moonlight and stamped on Misty Moonlight cardstock and punched it out. Then what I have is three pieces of designer series paper. This paper um, measures uh, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter and it is our in color designer series paper. These two um, designer series papers come from the flowers for every a season designer series paper and again I'm just using that monochromatic look um, this piece uh, measures three by four this little piece is a half inch by four and this is four inches by five and a quarter I have one piece of Whisper White. This measures three by four. And then I have two pieces of the Misty Moonlight. These are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of our cardstock, a half a sheet, four and a quarter by 11. And what we are gonna do is we're going to bring in our trimmer and we are going to line it up at the five and a half inch mark and what we are going to do is we are going to take our cutting blade and we are going to cut down to two and an eighth and you have a little line there to show us where that two and an eighth is we're going to stop and then we're going to take that cutting blade, put it down, and we're going to bring the scoring blade and finish scoring. Again, that's at the five and a half. We scored down to two and an eighth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip our paper over, bring it up to the two and an eighth, and we are going to cut, let me move my trimmer up so you can see. So we're going to start at the bottom, Again, lining it up at the two and an eighth, and we are going to cut to that score line. And I see I didn't get quite there, so we're just going to take our little snips and snip that off. And so that forms our peekaboo card. 
go ahead and fold that over. I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal and we are going to run our seal. Now this stamp and seal takes a little bit getting used to. You need, oh, and mine is out. So I guess I'm not even going to be able to show you that. I'm going to grab my Stamp and Seal Plus. The Stamp and Seal Plus is extra heavy. And again, with the Stamp and Seal or Stamp and Seal Plus, you want to kind of layer a seal down like so. Pull it along your paper and then just check off. So we're taking that four by five and a quarter. We're adding that there. Going to bring in that piece of designer series paper in the in color. This what measured a one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. We're going to add that here going to take one of our pieces of Misty Moonlight. We're going to put that Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper. Again, that was 3 by 4 going to put that on there. We're going to then add adhesive just on this side of that piece. You know what? We're going to set that aside for right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this white piece together. This is the inside. I have found to line this up, it is best to put the piece on the inside first. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got that. It's easier to measure up. So we're going to just add that getting a nice even border. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to line up our edges here. Very good. Next what we're going to do, we're going to take this small piece. This was the half inch by four and I'm going to grab some glue dots. I could use my adhesive but I find when it's a smaller piece like that it's easier to use glue dots. So we're going to add that right in there, making a nice little border for our designer series paper. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and add that jar. Now I noticed on my original one I did add the top of the jar and I don't know what I did with that piece. Um, it's floating around somewhere. I'll show you that in a second what I did. See my jar may be a little crooked. There we go. I'm going to take my flowers again that I used the aqua painter on. I'll put them on top of my jar like so. And there you have a nice peekaboo card. I'm going to bring in my sample card. I did a little bit different with that. I also took and uh, stamped the jar lid and added a bow. But either way, a very pretty monochromatic card using the Jar of Flowers bundle. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.